Hi everyone, welcome. It's Ryan here from the London Craftsman channel. How are you keeping? Right, so today um, I'm going to be showing you how to do a stopped rebated draw, draw fascia. I usually make it so you've got the draw box and then you put the fascia over the front, um, which means you can just run your rebates for your draw bottom. You do a six mil draw bottom through every component all the way through without having to stop. It's really, really simple and easy. Just set up either a router or your router table or a spindle just run those rebates all the way through to accept the draw bottom bottom um, but today we are um, doing it in a different method let me just show you um, right now the sketch up okay so what i am trying to achieve is a draw like so if you can look from the top view Okay, so we've got two sides, a back, and a front, or a fascia. Like I said a moment ago, we usually make it as a box, so we'd have a front, a back, and two sides, and then we'd have a fascia on the top, so um, that fascia would cover the end grain, it would cover any of the rebates, a bit like here. So if I zoom in, this is how we make it usually, and then the fascia would cover all of this, all the rebates that run through. But we're not doing it this way because we lose too much space. Um, we are making a set of six drawers at the moment. Let me just show you. So this is a side view of what we're trying to achieve. Um, I do all my workings out like this, um, just to work out fascia heights and spacings in between drawers, etc. I'm making it so the bottom of the drawer and, um, is all completely flush, and then the fascia sits up 25 mil, or should I say 28 mil to the fascia above. So we're leaving a 25 mil overlap of the fascia to the drawer. Then you've got a three mil gap, leaving 28 mil. Okay, so these have got finger pulls, and hence the reason I am making these drawers in this method. So on the front of the fascia, we are going to have a finger pull. Um, we're going to have a finger pull here. I haven't actually drawn it in, but it's 100 by 25 routed out. So if we did it the conventional method, my usual method, and we've got um, another front of the draw box here, then we need to allow for a lot more of an overlap here um, than 25 mil would have to step up about 40 or 50 mil. So when you put your fingers in, you don't hit the actual front of the drawer. So hence the reason I'm making it this way, and the downside to making it this way is the stopped rebates. So if I flip it around, um, we can't run the rebates through on the fascia um, like normal. Okay, so if I turn it around, so if I show you the back, we can't do this style. We can't run that rebate through to accept the bottoms here on the side, okay, because you just see the rebate. Well, you could, if you didn't mind. We are just stopping that rebate short on either end, okay? So this is what we use as usual. We've got the Trend T35 and we've got the Trend CRT router table along with the T14 router, okay? It's a good little combo and um, we use it for a lot of the rebates. If you want to see any more on how we do the drawers, there's quite a few up there. I'll try and leave a little link up the top or if not, just do a keyword search on drawers. I think there's three or four of them um, you can search for how we make drawers. Anyway, um, that's set up. I'll show you what we've done. Um, I've set it up to a tongue length of 8 mil and a tongue width of 6 mil. Okay, so that's all set up. I'm going to run the sides and the backs of the drawers first because those rebates go all the way through and then we'll do the stopped rebates next on the fascias. <laughs> Right, to set up the stop rebates, I'm going to take this part of the fence off so I can see what I'm actually doing. Okay, so to be safe, I'm starting and stopping my workpiece 8 mil either side of the cutter, roughly, okay? So I've got my fences as close to that blade as it possibly can be, okay, both sides. But the blade is near enough touching the fence, and it's around 8 mil. Okay, so what we're going to do... 
is imagine this was the workpiece. We are going to get that corner touching like so to start it off, I'm not touching the blade obviously, and then we're going to slowly push it in until it's up against our fence. We're then going to run it all the way through and finish it so the back of our work pin piece finishes in line with the pencil line. And it's as simple as that. And that should give us enough leeway. Um, our rebate should stop as close to the, as close as to the end as I actually want it to be without it being weak, but enough where we don't have to take that curve of the meat out um, for our draw bottom to sit in. So we've only got six to do. Let's hope I don't mess it up on camera. Right, don't forget to stop, okay? It's the whole point of a stop rebate. I've done it so many times. And then pull it out square. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Gonna go ahead and do the remaining five. Okay, there you have it. There's the stopped rebate and it's got the curve, which I was telling you I don't want to chop out because it's hassle. We can leave it the way it is. The return of the draw will be around here, so it shouldn't affect us the way the draw bottom sits in. Right, let's show you the draw all rigged up just so you can picture it in your mind how it all works. Here's the draw rigged up. It's only just placed together, but you can get the idea of why we run that uh, rebate all the way through. It just allows us to get a six mil bottom in there without having to chop away any of that curve. The pencil line is where the, the, the flat finishes and starts curving up. So that is in line with the inside of that tongue, this tongue here. So that is perfect now. We needed a 10 mil overhang of this fascia on the front, which we've got. And yeah, you can't see the rebate from the side. This is the bottom of the drawer. And um, yeah, we are ready to assemble our drawers and put the six mil in. Happy days. Okay, so that's how we do a stopped rebated front fascia, however you want to call it, um, just so you don't see those rebates running through from the ends. And that is simply why we stop them short both ends. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, like and subscribe. Take it easy. Have a great rest of the day. See you next Sunday.